I do what I do because uh, I can't imagine myself doing anything else. My name is Marcel Vigneron and I am the executive chef here at Bar 210. The style of food that I cook um, has kind of been dubbed as uh, modern global cuisine, um, by me personally actually. <laughs> So if I want to use uh, like panzu or yuzu or something like that, it doesn't really make me uh, my style of cuisine Japanese. Uh, if I want to use like tom yum or tom kai or you know, do any Thai style dishes, it doesn't really make it like Thai food. Definitely involved in the science of cooking. We utilize a lot of, um, a lot of different avant-garde techniques. Um, I wouldn't go so far as to say that um, my cooking style is molecular gastronomy. Kind of a misnomer. Molecular gastronomy isn't really a cooking style. It's more so um, the collaboration of chefs and scientists chefs asking why and scientists explaining, you know, the phenomena that is cooking. Our first little demonstration is going to be the uh, Papas Carneres. Here we have a variety of tricolored peewee potatoes. And what we're going to do is add uh, four tablespoons of sea salt per liter. This is a really, really amazing potato technique that I actually learned from Jose Andres over at the Bazaar. And what I'm gonna do right now is just kind of like pour off the excess water. And now what's gonna happen is the, um, the sea salt is going to start uh, crystallizing around the potatoes. You'll see like a little bit of like a slurry from the potato starch and the, and the salt kind of like recrystallizing as the water evaporates. And you gotta know when to stop shaking it and when to take it off the heat because if you leave it on the heat too long, the salt is literally gonna start exploding off the potatoes. We actually serve it with a little bit of a chlorophyll mayonnaise here. Chlorophyll mayonnaise made from cilantro, basil, parsley, chives, watercress. I mean, obviously I think they're delicious. You gotta try one. Here we have the, uh, the Colorado lamb. I'm gonna do kind of like a play on like a lamb shawarma. So it'll have like all the classic flavors of lamb, tzatziki, zatar, you know, kind of like curry, mint, pickled onions. And I, I prefer to cook with a bone in, but at the same time, um, the nature of this atmosphere, uh, a lot of the food is a little bit more refined. I try to eliminate silverware in general. So um, the lamb's cooked sous vide, 52 degrees Celsius for approximately 45 minutes. It's cooked in a, uh, in a thermal immersion circulator, but before that we use a, um, a cryovac machine to kind of like take the atmosphere out of the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and take the pan off the heat when I sear the lamb. Anytime hot oil and water come into contact, it tends to, uh, tends to shoot up some flames. So just trying to avoid that. This is essentially a uh, tzatziki that we've made in-house. Um, a little brunoise of cucumber, a little bit of mint, a couple different types of yogurt. There's a Greek, uh, Greek yogurt, faye, and then also a lebne. Over here we have za'atar. All right, just throw a little aromatics, some garlic, some thyme. This is, uh, you know, just butter basting. And then uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is let our lamb rest. You wanna let your lamb rest. Uh, to redistribute all the moisture, because all, uh, all the juices are kind of like flowing all throughout the protein. So we're gonna go ahead and like let that sit on vacation for a good uh, three to five minutes. While the lamb's resting, I'm just gonna go ahead and multitask here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little dollop of the uh, tzatziki on the toasted lavash. Yeah, it's, um, it's delicious. That's what we call the, uh, the quality control check right there. Pickled red onions on top of the uh, freshly sliced lamb. I'm gonna taste test this one over here. Here, cheers. Cheers. Pretty good. Kind of a mouthful, but. Can we You wanna try one? You want? The infamous dragon's breath. This is, uh, we're gonna do a little buttered, buttered popcorn right now. What you do is make caramel corn, dip it in liquid nitrogen, and then uh, it's very time sensitive, so you have to eat it um, shortly after the nitrogen. You can basically do it with anything. Quick little bath, about like five seconds or so. And then a little brown butter powder, which is uh, just brown butter and tapioca malted extra. All right, cheers. It's fun because when you eat it, uh, like smoke just starts billowing out of you know, your nose. And the reason why that happens is that there's actually, uh, there's no moisture in popcorn, and so you're able to get it to uh, sub-zero temperatures. And um, because there's no moisture, it doesn't actually like burn or freeze your palate. Butter popcorn, right? 